gonna replace the coil pack for a number two cylinder on this 2005 GMC Envoy. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, bar off the battery box and disconnect the positive cable. That way we can gain access to this safely and unconnect the coil pack from the plug and not risk for anything. So one bolt here, there's a nut down there and the other bolt right there. Next step, we're gonna take this 10 millimeter bolt out and loosen up this hose clamp and we'll remove the cover for the Vortec 4200. With the hose clamps loosened, you can then pull the hose off, loosen this hose clamp here with that bolt taken out. You can then pull your cover up and out of the way. There's a second 10 millimeter bolt right here. I need to get that uninstalled as well. Now with both 10 millimeter bolts removed and the hose clamps loosened, you can move that out of your way. Then you're gonna expose your coil packs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We are dealing with cylinder two, which is gonna be right there. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to release this clip. You can put a little screwdriver in there to release and you simply pull the clip out and then 10 millimeter bolt. Use a tweaker to work this clip out you push this section of this pin down this will slide out and then you press very hard on this black portion here and it will release next step 10 millimeter bolt remove the coil pack this is what it looks like when you pull it out you can examine the cylinder if you'd like there's a little bit of oil or some type of lubricant in there Probably clean that up a little bit with a paper towel. Next step, make your, take your new coil pack out of the packaging. Be careful not to harm it. Rest it in place, bolt it down, and then plug it up. Seat it in place firmly, start the bolt by hand, and then we'll use a ratchet to tighten things down. Nice and snug, but since this block is aluminum, you do not want to over tighten it and strip that out. Then we'll go ahead and go in with our plug. You just feel it snap into place. And then the retaining clip. And this will ensure that even though that it's hard to remove, this will ensure that it does not slide out unintentionally. There are grooves on the side where it lines up into and you just get it into place. Look at the other ones for reference on position. There we go. It only go in one way now it's in place next step we'll just retrace our previous steps we'll put this back into position just like so get it seated come over here line up our bolts line up our bolt in the back reinstall put this back on tighten up both hose clamps and then we'll go back to our battery I actually Remembered that the cross brace was only needed whenever I actually put a new battery in so you can bypass that step And you can just pull the positive terminal there Be sure to get your front bolt and your rear bolt started before tightening down that way you don't run into any alignment issues Now that we have both hose clamps tightened Both bolts installed now it's time to reconnect the battery and we'll put that cross brace back on that We didn't need to install all right, now that we have the cross brace bolts installed and the nut, it's just time to install the positive terminal. Last thing left is to clear our tools and use parts from the area. We'll start the vehicle and see how she idles. Years past, I've paid for this repair and it was about a $260 repair. The part today was $84.99. Took me 12 minutes to do zero in labor now let's start it up and see how she sounds super smooth idle you can see we're sitting right at 1000 rpm and that's where we want to be the idle previously was bounced around a little bit check engine light is gone so we are now good to go and that is how you replace the coil pack on a 2002 to 2009 gmc envoy have a good day